Oh, my goodness. How do we follow those adorable dogs? Well, let me tell you something. We are so lucky this morning in the Roadshow Kitchen because we are joined by Chef Scott King from the Providence Art Club. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome. Great pleasure to have you here. Thank I you mean, I was very excited when I saw that you were going to be preparing the ahi tuna poke bowl. Now, I think, uh, Chef, when people think Providence Art Club, they don't think great culinary masters, but really preparing food is an art form in and of itself, isn't it? Definitely. Definitely. T take us through the ingredients because they look vibrant. I can't take my eyes off of the colors. <laughs> Tell us what you'll be working with here. Well, presentation is everything That's as right. it is uh, at the art club. And uh, we're going to be preparing the ahi tuna poke bowl. Mm -hmm. And we got avocado, some uh, sushi rice, uh, kimchi, uh, which we use, I like to use from uh, Chi uh, Kitchen in Pawtucket, a bunch of pickled vegetables, wakimi salad, uh, and of course the ahi tuna. This is great. You know, remind everyone, of course, out there of where uh, the Providence Art Club is located, right there in the city. So we're we're located on the College Hill, 11 Thomas Street, uh, and uh, great historical buildings there. And you know, uh, we have shows that you can come see that changes every three weeks. So it's great. It's a tremendous venue. You walk in there, you really really can feel immediately the passion for art. Uh, everyone is really just kind of transfixed, if you will, by what that can do for a person. It really can take you to another place, which also a great recipe can do as well. So, I mean, this right here, poke, very trendy, very more popular these days. For you, is this fun to put together? Oh yeah, it definitely is. It's uh, our menu changes weekly, but um, this is one of the items that stays on our menu. It just became so popular, we couldn't uh, take it off the menu. And it's great for this time of season. It's healthy, it's light. I love it. And really, what screams 9 a.m. in the morning more than ahi tuna? <laughs> <laughs> but all kidding aside, I mean, I'm really looking forward to sampling this. And tell us about what you have coming up at the Providence Art Club, because there's something very special So, happening. yeah, at the Providence Art Club, we're going to have Jacques Pepin uh, visiting us. We're doing an uh, art show for him uh, with all his art. And um, on Friday night, we're going to have this event that uh, we're going to have... Um, the event is going to be like a cocktail party, okay. and we're going to do an opening of all of his art. So it's going to be a great event. We're going to have cocktails, champagne flowing, uh, hors d'oeuvres. It's going to be a wonderful evening. Those are all of my favorite yeah. things. So <laughs> count me in. Uh, this is the man, Chef Scott King from Providence Art Club. We will learn more all about the event. Uh, we will tell you how you can get more information as well. But really, we don't want to miss the preparation of the ahi tuna poke bowl. A great pleasure Excellent. to have you pleasure. here. It Thank already you. smells great. I think they should make a cologne out of it, but that's a story <laughs> for another segment. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen on this Monday morning. Chef Scott King is here. Uh, Providence Art Club is the place. They have a big, beautiful event that's going to be going on. We'll tell you about that in just a little bit. Ahi tuna poke bowl is on the menu today. All right, buddy, let's do it. Yeah, so I uh, just got done uh, pan searing my tuna. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you make this recipe, everything's online. You can get the recipe from the roadshow. Um, but you know, you want to make uh, all your pickled vegetables ahead. And uh, you can cook your uh, ahi uh, uh, sushi rice. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to personally do it in the um, on, in the Instapot. A lot of people have Instapots at home. I left the recipe online to do it either in the Instapot or uh, in a pan. So that's fine. So everything's pretty much prepared ahead, served room temperature. So Scott, when you're when you're making the rice, this this rice here is it that the it's almost like the, is it like the stickier, yes. stickier rice? Yes, it's a medium grain like Japanese rice. Okay. Um, uh, what you want to do is you want to kind of like rinse it in the in a strainer, get all the starch out of it before you cook it. And then for, for the instant part specifically, um, you can just put it in there. It's like one to one and a half cup ratio. Set it for eight minutes, boom, you got your rice after eight minutes. Set it and forget it. Yeah, set it and forget <laughs> it. And then you just take that out, you add a little bit of your rice vinegar to it. I use seasoned because it has a little bit of sugar in it. Okay. But if you don't have seasoned, you can add sugar to it in addition. All right, so then, what, can uh, I, what can I do to help you out So here? yeah, so uh, we're going to make a little bit of the uh, sriracha aioli. So if you want to grab that uh, mayonnaise. Got it. Uh, put it right that, whole there thing, in the whole thing's going in? Yep, All put right. the whole thing in there. Put that in. Great. Sounds good. And then uh, I like to use the red uh, sriracha. Mm -hmm. This is that Crazy Bird. It's excellent. They're a local product. Awesome. Um, so you can just put a couple of dashes in there. And, Got it. Uh, there's no specific rule to how much you want to put in there. It all depends on if you like it spicy or not. So... Um, Put that there. You got got a little whisk, and we whip that up right I, there. I can whip that up. There you go. That I can do. So the darker the color, the more spicier it will be. But um, it's a really nice uh, touch to the dish. Okay. So that's that. Okay. Got and it. And then uh, the next uh, I'm going to do is we're going to build the dish. So we got everything here. I'll take, take that, that from me. Okay. Sure. 
Uh, so yeah, we're gonna build the dish. So here we have our dish. Mm -hmm. um, you can grab your rice, which I already put in a mold. So Got what it. I usually like to do is I usually take the rice, put it in a mold, pop it right on the plate. You could do that right there. Oh, well, oh, come sorry. Okay, I was, gonna, down I was, I was gonna be fancy and try to flip it, but <laughs> yeah. if you got that, that, that works as well. And then basically, you know, like just like the art club, we want it to be like art. So we try to make it look beautiful. So we got different colors going on there. Right. We got green and red. So if you want to start with a green. Okay, we'll put some uh, of this on this. Yep, we got some uh, Shanghai baby bok choy. Okay. Yep, so, you can put that right there. Okay. Uh, maybe do some orange next with your uh, with your um, carrots. Okay. Yep. Some carrots some of these on there. Yep. So I usually go around the bowl and just do like a little pile in each. Oh, pile. Yeah, yeah you're good. You're getting, good. I'm getting fired from the <laughs> That's all right. Bar. I'm training already. him for, to be a future cook. That's yes. what I'm doing. I'm, I'm getting yeah, fired so already. Then you want to grab your uh, pickled onions. Yep. You know, we're going to grab some of that, throw some of that in there um, again. And then we got some uh, pickled um, um, uh, radish. So you're going to take some oh, of that. That's a radish? That yep. That's pickled daikon radish. So a lot of these ingredients you can buy at the Asian market. Some of them you can make. I try to make this uh, recipe friendly for people at home so they can make this. Right. Because not everything is like that. Okay. Right. And a lot of times people yep. don't have time to. So then I have next. I got some avocado over here. I'm gonna slice that up. Throw some avocado on the dish. All right. And last, uh, we'll put some little kimchi on there. Yep, uh, kimchi. Yep, that's next. I'll, I'll grab it because it's a little messy. Yeah, there. Okay. You got the gloves on. So I got, love that kimchi. That's a local company is company as well, and they've been in here before. And it's yes, delicious. the chi kimchi. The yes. vegan is perfect. If you want to make this dish vegan, you can do it with uh, tofu or yeah. you know other things. It's very good. You can also we're doing it with ahi tuna today, but it's great with shrimp. It's great with um, chicken. You can do it pretty much with anything. It's, salmon. I love salmon on there. And Scott, we only have a couple of minutes left, and I want you to be able to talk about the, the event that's happening, and, and if people uh, want to go, can they still buy tickets for it, and can they still go? Yes, they can. So the, uh, the Providence Art Club is collaborating with Jacques Le Pen, and uh, no we're slouch gonna, there. <laughs> and we're going to showcase and celebrate his life work as an artist, and the show will be revealed starting on Friday with a VIP cocktail reception. Nice. And we still have tickets available. So on the reception, this is the QR code if you want to scan it, okay. uh, you can join us, okay? So on that evening, we're gonna have champagne flowing, some specialty hors d'oeuvres. Uh, each guest will receive one of Jacques' uh, cookbooks. That's awesome. And you can get it uh, signed by him. He's gonna be signing autographs that evening. And uh, he's not only a legendary chef, but he's, a, he, he's, a, he's, he's an awesome artist. Like his work is wonderful. I think we're gonna be showcasing about 20 of his pieces that evening. And he has um, a real connection here to, to Rhode Island too. I mean, so he's around here a lot as well. Correct. I know he yeah. has family who live Yeah, he has family. Uh, his son-in-law is an instructor at Johnson & Wales, Raleigh Weston, an awesome guy. We actually cooked at the Rainbow Room in New York City together back in the late 90s. Oh, those are the stories um, I want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and then the show that we're going to be showing is going to be running on uh, from April uh, 21st to, to Mother's Day and it'll be between like 2 and 4 weekdays and 12 and 4 on Sundays. That's great. Uh, you know, and we also have a nice opening, our opening this Sunday, the 21st. So you can actually uh, join us uh, if you can't make it to the event on Friday night, you can join us for that. Perfect. So this is just Perfect. a little bit of Japanese dressing, a little bit of that um, sriracha aioli that you made right there. We're going to just drizzle that around. Buddy, All it's right. good to see you and thanks for coming in. Thank you very much. While, while, you're making that, uh, while you're making that look nice, if you would like more information about this, this is actually the finished product here. <laughs> if you would like more information about this or of the other events that are happening at the Providence Art Club, you can head on over to our website. That is roadshow.com. Looks good.